Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. I hope you guys are doing very well. So if this is the first time you are joining in, we are an entertainment show that has all the fun stuff for the baddest on TV. And I, if I do say so myself, we entertain you with all our gist with that we analyze. We're also bringing amazing talents from all over the world to discuss, especially your favorites. So today is not, no different. We're going to do the same thing. And when I say we, I am talking about Ifeo Lwashike and my personal baby, Emerald. How's it going, people? <laughs> well, how are you? Nice, man. Nice. I like the, the new look, the glasses yeah, man. look. Yeah, man. Uh, mm. It's Ray Ban, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I actually noticed it when I, when I came in. I noticed that, it. That, yeah. It looks, it looks good. I prefer Better. this one to yeah, that one, yeah. Exactly. Don't worry, I'll still put my lower stunts once in a while. Mm, I think I need bigger eyeballs for that. Mm, maybe. <laughs> yes, I do need bigger eyeballs for that. <laughs> My eyeballs get too dim for some hour lower. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, the weekend is coming soon, slowly. Like, I can feel... Oh, no, the weekend is too freaking Do you think slow. this week was slow no. or fast? Slow. No. no baby, I, think, I think it's fast. Dude, this is Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I this morning. I was Thursday since, since Monday. Since Monday. Since Monday. It's <laughs> Wednesday. As uh, I woke up feeling like, man, yeah, it's going to be Friday. Mm. Yeah. And I have plans lined up for the weekend. Maybe that's why. Yeah. So you're eager to get to the that's weekend. That's why you can't wait. I'm yeah. looking up with an old friend on Saturday, and I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, today I can't wait to see you, girl. Okay. Yeah. Shoot your shots. Hmm. No, it's not well. shooting shots. Now, see me. I have family members that are girls, or that we don't do. You know, we just vibe. See, every girl for every vibe. Wow. wow. Yeah. Okay. Every girl for every vibe. I don't know if that's a compliment. If that's it is it. a compliment because it just shows how man enough I can be. I have a girlfriend. I have a stable. You have a girlfriend. I thought you were. You had broken up. Yeah. Okay. How do I put it? Is this the same girl? Let's, let's, let's just leave it at what I just said. If, right? if you are very, very, very yeah. complicated. Let's, yes, I'm very, I'm very complicated. complicated. Is that same person like your it. girlfriend? The person that you broke up with? Uh, <laughs> the person that you broke up with, is that person still your girlfriend? Uh, I really don't know. But let's leave it at that. Okay. Just, no, don't let us compound this shit. Right. <laughs> let's not do that. Mm. Let's not leave it mm. at what I just said. Mm -hmm. But I have every girl for every vibe. Okay, so maybe I sounds should put weird. It, maybe, it maybe, sounds maybe I should put it like every girl for every vibe. I have vibe. a girl hmm. that I date. I have a girl that I just want to keep as family. Okay. I think that's a guy code. Do you, yeah, like mm. every girl for every vibe. Want... I think that's a guy code, right? Do you have every guy for every girl, vibe? It's a girl code too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, and you find that perfect one at one point in time that you would not need every girl for every vibe. But if the person that hmm. you are saying you want to Only be one. With cannot give you that vibe, sis, I will go out there and look for that other vibe because it's just me. So you're trying to tell me now that the girl you're dating is not the all encompassing and you need other girls. That's why, that's why. Not. Ooh. Obviously. Wow. Not. I hope she doesn't watch this episode. I hope, I hope she, she does. does. <laughs> <laughs> are you joking? I hope she does so she can learn how. To, see, the problem with the Aww. world is everybody, it's everybody, every, wait, wait, you guys should listen. <laughs> every. <laughs> you put the knife in and I just turn it in. Okay. Look, everybody wants you to be who they want to be or, or who they want, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not everybody thinks about what they think you want. Mm. Now, if you meet me as if you're Lua, the annoying guy, the mm. guy who talks anyhow, the one that doesn't know how to talk, the womanizer, mm. the, the, he's not a womanizer, but the one that flirts around, mm. right? And then suddenly... I'm glad you know yourself. I'm impressed, but go on. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know my... See, there's nothing it's I okay, do. It's okay, go like on. I don't know how. <laughs> I know all my problems. <laughs> I'm the solution to all my problems. Ah, yes, sir. Ah, you understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no... There's this no is too solution. much. I think, I think this is too much. We have to cut you here. No, 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 <laughs> yes, no, yes. Let's I'm cut you here. I'm the solution to all my problems. But guess what? There's just some problems that without them in your life, right? probably not who you are and i'm not ready to change who i am i'm ready to be happy that's all that matters to me so if you're not going to be part of my happiness can you just let me be happy in peace you're not ready to change who you are no for, for nobody not even unless it's my bad attitude yes i'm ready to change all my bad attitudes for a better person but if this is who i am and it has kept me happy for 30 something years of my life then i don't need no help darling let's okay. stop him there 
right? Or yeah. you have anything? No, no, no. It's, no, no. it's venting moment. If like, why are you saying the same thing with me since today? Like, I know, this is like, this I is I like know. the second thing I'm about to say. You're saying it. I was like, no, no, no. I said, no, no, no. I just said, no, no. Alrighty. Well, I think we're going to go straight into the conversations of today. And we are dealing with the royal family and all of that. If you watched yesterday's episode, you know that we didn't have enough time to really dissect this story. And I don't think we'll ever have enough time because it's a very heated, sensitive conversation. But we're going to make an attempt today, and I hope you guys follow through. Remember that you can join these conversations on social media, and the numbers is also cutting, cutting across the screen. Mm -hmm. And feel free to just, you know, take your comments on all of that. But here's ours. Um, Piers Morgan is out um, of the TV show Good Morning Britain after he wow. made inflammatory remarks about Meghan, who's the Duchess of Sussex, following her Oprah Winfrey wow. interview alongside husband Prince Harry. Following discussions with ITV, Piers Morgan has decided, this is them of the official quote now, Piers Morgan has decided, now is the time to leave Good Morning Britain, the network said on Tuesday in a statement that they released publicly. It, acts, it has accepted his decision and has nothing further to add. The move came after UK communications regulator Ofcom fielded more than 41,000 complaints about attacks from Morgan, a big supporter of the monarchy, on the Duchess, prompted by the Oprah interview. So, obviously, I don't know if you... I, I mean, you must be living under a rock, but I'm glad you're on tea time so we can unveil that rock for you. There's been a whole frenzy going on on the internet and just tabloids and magazines, basically every media outlet since uh, Meghan and her husband granted an interview with uh, Oprah. Oprah and basically dished out a lot about the racism and just unfair treatments because of who Meghan is. I guess she's not good enough for them. And, you know, their opinions about leaving the, the family and all of that. So uh, it's very it's very known, but just in case you don't know, P.S. Morgan is a like an OAP just like myself. But he is quite vocal like about. Yourself. I mean, he the talks on TV. Don't mind him. Say what you want. To he, say. Yeah, just like he has a show, just like us, and yeah. he analyzes his opinions and all of that. Mm. So he's been very, very, very vocal about the fact that he cannot stand Megan's gods. He can't, He's never. He's never. He's never been a, a support for her. But I think he it took a bit too far and walked out of a show, and now he's left the show. So guys, on, on to you. All right, so Pierce has always had, um, you know, a problem with his opinions, especially with the public view. Now, there's certain people that um, they're not thinking about sensitivity to what humanity is about. And um, because you have a platform, because you're on a TV station, because you're on a radio station, you open your mouth, wah. Like wow. Daniels, you say, like, wow, and you say it this way. Now, I think for OAPs, for people that are supposed to be the voices of the people, for people that are supposed, I think you should have a balanced opinion. I know there are times on this table that we laugh about, we laugh about certain things, but when it comes to being balanced, I think we, we try. Yeah. I think we try. But, um, Pierce is not one of those people. Mm. Pierce is somebody that sticks by his guts. If he says, you're a cow, <laughs> trust me, nothing in this world. When you come in your human form and you don't come in a cow, you say, but use your ears looking like that of a cow. So you're a cow. Do you understand? Mm. He will find something to stick by whatever he said. And this is not the first time. I remember the first time on um, with the Megan and um, Megan and Ari story that I think he got suspended. Mm -hmm. Yes, he got suspended for a while. You know, the, the presenter went to a, a, a television station, went to his house. He came out of his door. He said the same thing he said while he was on TV. Do you understand? So I think he's one of those. I think he's okay. Freedom of speech. And he said <laughs> freedom of speech is a heel I'm ready to die on. And um, yeah, freedom of speech is good. But when it's detrimental to people's mental health, and especially when it has to do with something such as mental, you don't tell me when I'm going nuts. Do you understand? You can't tell me when I'm feeling depressed. You can't tell me when I'm feeling sad. And you can't tell me when I should feel happy. Mm. Because you as an individual have it all going for you that you can tell when you're sad when you're... It don't happen for everybody like that. There are people with mood swings. There are people that one minute you're gisting with them and they're all, you know, goody and all smiley. And the next minute they're flipping on you. It could have been a thought that triggered it that you do not know about. So like what are you I talking said, about now? Megan or Pierce? I'm talking Pierce. about Pierce in this in this in right. this regard. That look, mental the only problem, I, I'm I'm a full supporter of freedom of speech. 
and um, I'm a full supporter of people, you know, standing by their gods. But when it comes to mental health, I really, really cannot speak for anyone. So oh. what are you saying, that he has mental health issues? No. He was saying, I don't know, do you know the story? Yeah, I do, but I'm trying All to right. say... Alright, so he was saying that he doesn't believe, believe that what she had she mental health issues. Right, that's, that's, what, that's why I'm, I'm wondering what you were stressed about. That's why I said, are you talking about Megan or are you talking about Pierce? I'm talking about Pierce. Both like of them, Pierce, both, both, I'm, both. Okay, I'm speaking about the that, both of them, but yes. I'm saying that... Whose mental health condition is it? Men Pierce cannot be talking about... Somebody else's Megan. mental... Eh, that's yeah, what okay. I was asking, eh, that's all, okay. Oh. Well, well, um, it's actually a very sensitive mm. um, topic and happenings. And I don't know why it's, everything is happening. Like, I don't know why everything is happening this way and why it's taking this, it's going this far now. I'm uh, talking about his and what he said. I feel like when you bring up a topic, just like we're here now talking about uh, the topic, it's, it's actually okay to say what you feel like. And again, I went back to like do a little research and I noticed that he's being, he's being hitting on her. This is not the first time. Of course, he's obsessed. He's being, he's being hitting on her. And I don't know why that is. I don't know, maybe there's... What do you say? Like hitting on her, like... like no, making advances. <laughs> no, 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 not making advances on her. Yeah. I mean, like he's been on her case. He's been bullying her, basically. Yeah. He's been bullying, bullying her for a long time. Yeah, for a long time. So I don't know why that is. I don't know if there's something. They used to be best of friends. They, okay, yeah. Best of friends. They no, they used to be very good close. Mm. Yeah. So after, after whatever. So I think there's really more to why he's really mm. going after her like that, like back to back. There's really more to that. But being able to like say his mind. That's that's just it. when you're when you're when you have when you're in a position where you're you you can I mean you're in a position where you have you have the power to say one or two things about something about um, a topic or a situation. It's okay for you to say how you feel about it, but at the same time, like you first said, I don't think anybody can tell anybody um, the states that you are when the person in that state is saying I'm in this state and you're telling me you're lying, you're mm. lying. So if so the person had said. Mm. If the person had said, this is the state that I am, or I, I think I'm going to die if I do this or something, then you, you just wait, have to take it. For, for, please, if, if that's what the person is saying. Take, I would also like to say that. If, if I'm not done talking, then you caught me. Oh, my apologies. Yeah, so just let the person, let the person, uh, whatever the person has said should uh, be taken. Because mm. when it has to do with mental health, it's... Uh, it's a bit like it's really really serious you know yesterday i was um like i had to go read about what could actually cause someone to go into depression because mm. i was in a kind of mood yesterday so mm. i was asking myself what what exactly is happening with mm. me and i had to read up and i, I saw a lot of things i'm mm. like okay now if i was talking to someone and said to the person with everything maybe i'm posting and the mood the way that i was dressed yesterday or something Nobody would actually believe that mm. I'm in that stage or that yeah. mood that I was yesterday. So I feel like it's just, uh, Pess has to just, I don't know. And he quit his job. Mm -hmm. Amazing. A very. Hmm. All right. So I was also going to say that um, we need to also, you know, think about personal relationships. Now, some opinions may not sound right. But I can imagine if I was with you yesterday or you yesterday, like you said, you were in the States yesterday and... Um, I could see all of the things you were capable of achieving, all of the opportunities that you were capable of grabbing, all of the things that you have at your fingertips, right? And then you come to me with some money kind of problems when I know that that is not really your problem, is you not taking advantage of what you have. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. I'm no, no, I've not finish. landed. Okay. I've not landed. Just relax. It's okay for me as a friend to communicate to you and be like, babe, that is not your problem. Now, this is what I think you can do to fix this problem. Now, I'm preferring solutions to those problems. If it still doesn't work for you, it's okay for you to still be in that type of mood. So, where I'm going to with all of this is that I don't know the relationship still with Megan and Pierce. Are they still communicating? Is there something... Obviously not. No, they're not. Obviously Again, not. Again, if if let me tell you, look, you, you mentioned uh, something about um, have being in a, a position where you can get, uh, you're, you're at the reach of maybe money and whatever, and then mm. I come to ask you, you can be in such position and still exactly. not get it. And still not uh, okay, get so it. Okay, yeah. so I, I need to say my take okay. before we go far. Um, first thing that I, I think is important to say is that uh, freedom of speech is absolutely fine, mm. but I think there's a different kind of responsibility to OAPs. Mm. Um, 
I don't think you have a right to just say anything. I don't think it's just about opinions. I think if we were the kind of people who were saying anything and everything, I don't think a lot of people would want to share, give us their platforms to speak. Mm -hmm. I think each and every um, OAP has a responsibility of using their head. There are some things. There are some things that there are some. Excuse me. I said unless it's in SARS. Well, I don't understand. So we that. can share our opinions and <laughs> we can just see what we Please. like on that one because it's in SARS. I don't understand. But my point Obviously. is, my point is that um, you need to be very careful. You can't just share. There's some opinions that I have that would never be aired just because I don't think that they are beneficial. Not that they are harmful, but I don't think that they are beneficial mm. to the society. Like, I'm not going to say, uh, sometimes I feel like this country is so crazy and we should go and sell it, for example. But, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, something like that. But I'm not going to sit here and be confidently giving you tips on how to go and sell the I'm, That's a very flimsy example, but I'm just saying that there are some things that just don't need to be aired, right? Yeah. So you have a responsibility to do that, and it's not just freedom of speech. And that's why people go viral when they say the most awful things on TV or they say things that are very detrimental because it's not... It's a mass communication thing. You have to be sensitive about that. Irrationality cannot share um, a big platform. And I think that was his problem. And, and I think he too, he knew it. And that's the reason why he got suspended the first time and probably why he was pushed to then drop, um, drop the second time. Because what he did, apart from just saying that her mental health was in the da 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 is also because he was not behaved properly. He walked out of the set yeah. and did all of that again. People are allowed to do that. People are allowed to walk out and feel, feel angry. But not an on-air personality. There is some kind of decorum that you expect. No matter how heated these conversations, the conversations we've had on Tea Time has been, I've never gotten across to you and slapped your face or poured tea on your face or removed my clothes. People do that on the street. People do that at home. People, yeah. So you can't just behave anyhow. That idea that you can do anything and be anything and talk anyhow is not true. You can't. Um, but he has a very... Um, He's one of those people that I always worried about in terms of having a platform and an influence. And I think everybody has that in every society. And in the UK, it's Piers Morgan. He mm. has awful, awful opinions about a lot of things that I find bottom line hate speech. I remember when this guy died. Bless his soul. Uh, Larry King. Oh. When he died. I don't know if you saw um, Piers Morgan's mm. tweet about Larry King. <laughs> What this like about? proper disrespect to the dead like something about he, he didn't he didn't even say recipe he just said bro he's the fact that he had too many wives and he's very good with in-laws and da, 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 and like rubbishing the man in a way of then saying okay well then peace out so you see those kind of people there's nothing bad about that but when you have such a big influence and a big platform i kind of get worried so am i a bit happy that he doesn't have that um, good morning uk um, good morning britain whatever show i think i'm a bit happy about that i think he will still have his own if if I'm if I'm going to guess, I think he will still have a show and he will still have a platform and he'll create yeah, his own I thing and that's not going to stop I think him. Somebody else is going to pay him double. Yeah, or yeah, maybe, maybe even right? he's he current even oh. do something else. Huh. But I think that that show, because maybe also I have a strong connection to the UK, that show was not, was a bit too um, watered down because of all the dramatics. It's kind of like a serious oh. show that represents Britain and a Britain's face. I just think he needs more decorum than Piers Morgan. But good luck to him with other things that he's doing. But do you think like, Good Morning um, Britain is kind of royal? It's kind of a, like... No, it's, no, it's, not, it's not. It's not at all. So. At all. He's just obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to say that I read that he's currently writing for... I don't know if it's um, um, a newspaper. So I don't know. One that once um, they... They brought out something about uh, Megan or so. I don't know. The Sun, the no, 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 Telegraph. Uh, I, I think, think so. So, mm. so he's know, writing. He's, he's writing fine. for them now. So I just don't think there's pla there, there's some people that should. My just question have is, why did he go? In certain places why did he go to? Like, why is he going to into something that that is not like? Uh, how do I put it? Why is he going into something that is against her again? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean. I mean. Yeah, but but guess what? Um, regardless of what, a service is always needed. Now, some people might look at it like, oh, this guy's too blunt. This guy is sharing this. But like you said, some people that also share the same view. Well, I hear this guy. I'm paying double of his money. So, yeah, at the end of it's the day. It's not just money. It's about, at the end of the day, he has a brand. Opinion. And some people would never yeah. attach yeah. themselves to Piers Morgan's brand. Believe it and some or not. Always. always. Yes, yes. But I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to argue cost. that the people who are a lot more serious, people who are a lot more um, put together, like, even the royal family, for example, would never endorse somebody like that to conduct. Okay, okay. but if I, um, if I, if I, my, do you think, do you, don't you think that some of these people that are blunt sometimes, like say it like it is, or they, they, they could be making sense sometimes? Of course, of and course. Guess what? Like I was saying, I personally would listen to a Pierre Smogan in order to have a balanced 
opinion. Are you kidding so me? I won't be. <laughs> hey, it, it could be. Now. I it, I'm not, I'm not. Do you follow Piers Morgan at all? We know he's very. Piers Morgan is far from balanced. Listen, I'm not saying he I is want to balance about ba things. Um, balanced opinion. Okay, so what I'm saying, saying I would listen to Piers Morgan so I can have a balanced opinion. Now I want to get an opinion about, from a hater. I understand what hater, you're saying. And I want to get a balanced opinion from my mind. And then I want to hear somebody that thinks like me. Now merge all three together and I'm a more balanced person than all two no, of that's you. That's true. Mm. That's true. 